hey welcome back guys this is the part sixth of our modern to-do list project series in this tutorial we will be creating accordion of our dashboard this accordion will be having years and months we will get the year and month from our save task which is there in local storage and we will sort it out and show it in a web browser if you haven't watched previous parts of this series i'll recommend you to watch that first or you can get the source code of part 5 from description i will also add link of previous parts if you are willing to watch you can watch that as well i will also add demo of this project so you can watch that as well if you have jumped into this part part 6 so without further ado let's get started i will close all this thing i will close the code as well and i will go to the file and the previous project which I have already created I will open that JavaScript modern to do list I will open with code and I should you know close this as well let's go and let's create one folder add task and I will I will drag it and I will drop it here and now we have to create another folder this will be the dashboard folder inside this we will create HTML file called dashboard dot HTML and we will type our HTML so go syntax so we will create one div class called all hyphen task having a id of task hyphen data enter it after this i will create one js file will be the dashboard dot js here we'll create one variable all task data we'll create one function get all task this will have all task is equal to json dot parse local storage dot get item double quotes so this will have name of our local storage which we have created earlier so I'll just copy it and all this add task HTML I will remove it okay after this come outside this round bracket and will be or empty array okay, let's save it now we will console log this let's see what we are getting here all task data save it and let's run our HTML inspect this okay we are not getting anything because we have to add our script tag dot js let's save this and let's go to our okay js file here we have to call our function now if we go and if we see so there is some error here mm, task okay we are calling this data so if you can see now we have 13 data available in our console but what we want right now is we should get data in group by group by years so 
for 2023 there should be a certain like four or five data for an example we have one two three four five six seven something something data for 2024 so we have to group by it we have to create a grouping of years then we will create a grouping of month so that is what we are going to do now okay i'll remove this now here i'll create another variable const organized task this will be the empty object all task data dot for each task here we have const create selected year so guys whatever we are writing should be similar to the keys of the object which we were getting so what you can do is from our previous part from part one where we were creating the keys for our local storage you can just copy it and you can paste it here or you can you know pause it and you can watch it up to you now what I'll do is we have to write if condition organize task we will do it with selected year first so organize task selected year curly bracket same way you can copy it you can paste it here here we will have selected month same way add that here save it copy it paste it here selected date and this one will be selected date as well this we can remove and paste it as array so this will be organize task selected or maybe just copy it all this thing you can just copy this paste it here and you can push this much data here task ID selected task selected task description and task status save it I'll just format this code okay now come outside this now we should see the console log how our organized this organized task variable looks let's save it let's go now if you'll see we are getting the data in a group by year format so there is a 2022 23 24 earlier it was like 13 all 13 datas and there was no group by year or anything here you can see we got july december july for 2022 december and everything looks good but as soon as i open this there's a april first then feb then jan july and things like that so what we have to do is we have to sort it out in a month you know ascending format should be jan feb march and till december it should be like that so that we have to do i'll just comment it out and we'll go we'll create one const variable will be sorted task object dot keys 
organize task dot sort dot for each inside this it will be year will be the task HTML but after this your cons we should declare one let this will be the task HTML is equal to double quotes and this will be our task HTML append template literal and there will be a div this will have a class of double quotes this will have a class of year year wise task h1 h1 class double quotes year hyphen header we we'll close the h1 and here it will be your year after this we another div being a class month hyphen accordion and we will close this here so task <coughs> append this we'll close both this div here div or just copy it you can oh, close it here only <coughs> now here we should append our variable to that id which we were getting from here so task data dot inner HTML is equal to task HTML and save it let's see so here you can see we are getting everything but there's some issue okay we have closed h1 here only so it should be like this so now we are getting you know 2022 2023 and everything we are getting it now we should get our month as well and for that after this we have to again object dot keys we have to sort it with our month now so now organized task year dot sort this will have a and b because we have to differentiate with the two numbers because for a year it will be only one year okay but for month there will be many months in in a year so here will be new date date dot parse double quotes zero one append a minus new date 
डेट डॉट पार्स जीरो वन अप एंड बी एंड हियर वी हैव टू डू फॉर इच फॉर इच इन साइड दिस देर विल बी अ मंथ एंड सो आई जस्ट फॉर्मेट दिस डजेंट लुक गुड नाउ for each sorted task year and for month now here what we will do task dot html template literal this will be the div class is equal to double quotes month hyphen accordion hyphen selection there will have another div this will have a class of accordion hyphen header we'll close this div and in here we will have the month okay let's see and we are getting some errors uh, which is cannot set property of undefined we are getting june i guess june is the first one which we are getting july or uh, somewhere maybe somewhere we are getting stuck because for the month of 2022 it is july so we are stuck at 2022 only i guess we have missed out something let's see what it is okay 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 year it is we are appending year okay okay we haven't we here we have sorted out like for organized we have done it but for the sort variable we haven't so for that we have to just you know same way which we have done it here just copy it paste it here just save it now if you'll see we are getting the data here so the data is available here but now we have to add another div as well content so this will basically have a class of month hyphen accordion hyphen content there will be another div having a class month hyphen nested hyphen accordion and save it so we will be closing this three divs here only so append this and just a div copy it paste it two times and save it it will be the same there will be no difference but what we have to do now is we have to add this style it will be the dashboard dot css let's go and let's style our page so body font family arial and sans serif we should remove this helvetica and margin will be zero 
padding will be zero display flex align items center justify content center background color one two one two one f flex direction column save it and let's add that in our HTML file so here below our title we should add link href it will be dashboard dot CSS now if you'll go to our page you can see the background looks nice and here back to our CSS will be for all hyphen task width will be 100% we have added this all task here so same way we'll be adding I'll close this dot year wise hyphen task will have width of 100% as well year wise task h1 h1 margin will be 20 pixels background color 4 3 3 6 2 4 4 3 3 6 2 4 okay padding of 15 pixels text align center color will be white so left let's save it now if we'll go this is how it looks looks good here back to our maybe this all task we should add 80 percent okay now if you'll see this looks good we can see here the months are available but it is not aligned properly so we have to style our month month hyphen accordion background color will be of white now box box shadow 0 0 10 pixels RGBA zero 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 point one border radius of eight pixels over overflow hidden margin twenty pixels I will scroll it down and now if you'll see so this is how it looks looks good but we have to again month accordion hyphen section border hyphen bottom one pixel solid black So now we have to do it with our accordion hyphen header background color 6 a 9 
dd1 color again white padding 15 pixels cursor pointer user select none font weight bold display flex align item center justify content space between and transition will be there in the background background color 0.3 s let's save it let's see how it looks now if you'll see looks good everything is looking good but the header is here and everything looks fine but let's go and let's scroll it down first accordion header and on hover there should be change of background color should be 466C93 let's save it now if you'll see you'll hover on it looks good no looks good here we'll add another class accordion header active after content double quotes slash 25 b 4 font size 18 pixels margin left 10 pixels transition transform 0.3 s seconds month accordion hyphen content display none that is not available because we haven't wrote the javascript code yet so that also we have to write so this will be 15 pixels background color of f9 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 and i'll scroll it down and here month hyphen nested hyphen accordion margin left 15 pixels let's save it now if you'll go and if you'll see it is looking good everything looks good but there is no icon as well as it is not opening it should open and there should be certain uh, you know section available right now we haven't write you know for date or for task but there should be a certain white color section should be available so what we are going to do for that is we have wrote you know css already but we have to write the javascript as well so here after dashboard dot js we should be in the script tag and const accordion 
headers dot document dot query selector all dot so accordion header for all the accordion header where it is accordion uh, header here it is so we are going to loop through it okay now we got our accordion header here if I'll console log this I will be getting the node list which is having seven other details like one two three four five six one two three four five six seven and eight so length is eight here we have to loop through that accordion header now accordion header dot for each header there will be a header dot add event listener in a double quotes click header dot class list dot toggle so this will do a add a class as active and will be another const content is equal to header dot next element sibling it will check and if content dot style dot display is equal to equal to block then content dot style dot display will be none else content dot style dot display will be block okay let's save it now everything looks good but let's see if our web page looks good as well so here we have our page if i click on this the section is available and now if you'll see there is this icon okay looks good okay looks good i'll refresh this so guys we have achieved this whatever we have shown in a in the demo of this video uh, we have achieved we have got year header we have got month as well in an accordion so it is working fine and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you really did please subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with part 7 so bye and take care